Do you think it's sweet enough? Why don't you taste it? <laughs> Seriously, you won't die from just a smidge. It'll just make everything burn a little brighter, is all. Back at the house, we'll give everybody a huge cup of it. It doesn't hurt when we free our souls from their fleshy prisons, does it? I think your heart races for a bit, and then off we go to the ethereal plane. <laughs> Why don't we use Hemlock? Like how Socrates killed himself. Hemlock doesn't hurt at all. My god. They're brewing poison. Because we already made two big batches of bitch snacks. Can you imagine if we came back to the Reverend Father with a big bowl of hemlock now? He'd laugh at us. Might not even let us come along on the sacred journey. <laughs> I'll just keep stirring then. All our questions will be answered once we're no longer in the prison of our bodies. That's what he said, right? It's some sort of suicide cult. I'm not going to let them poison a whole bunch of people. Now I've got to get rid of this poison. Come on, stiff up a lip. <laughs> I'm joking. Never thought it would come to this, did we? Well, you're not my problem, I Now is the time to dare and endure, right? <laughs> You'd be amazed what people throw into the bin. I'm not cooking for you, robber! Merry Christmas, you bastard! You're not my neighbor! Oh, look, you've been beaten by a girl. You had this coming. The people there, they were wearing these sigils. Oh lord, the space god people. Ransom Mackenzie's congregation in Gardner House. They were making digital acts? In small amounts, it's a drug. More than that, it's a poison. You can make it from red foxglove seeds. We make all sorts of useful potions and things out of it. You could too. I think their Reverend Father is planning for the whole lot of them to kill themselves. I can think of a lot of reasons to kill yourself in the Garden District. But no one should have their death chosen for them. You know about my mum? I remember there was a terrible accident. Your mum put the wrong herbs in the family dinner. The whole family died except you. It was just before the train, so I always wondered. It wasn't an accident, was it? I think she didn't want my sisters to be scared. All alone in Germany. So she killed them. And I guess she didn't want Dad to hate her. So she killed him too. And she couldn't live with herself. I don't know why she left me behind. Here. This is the recipe for... Digital Axe? And something more? Mix it into their poison, and it should change from poison to... Mm, let's call it an eye-opener. You'll need Digital Axe for that, among other things. Come back, and I'll have the rest of what you need. You're making a sort of herbal blackberry joy, aren't you? You know your chemistry. I was on Harry Hayworth's team when we invented joy. One day I hope the Goddess will forgive me for that.
Mum made the antidote, didn't she? In case she had second thoughts. But she didn't have second thoughts. They've already started. I've got to get to the poison before they all take it. Leave something to be desired. Does this seem strange to you? It shouldn't. Jesus Christ said, For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. Matthew 16. The Hindus sing moksha, liberation from the cycle of rebirth. They all ask us to embrace the next world and joyfully give up this world. Because, of course, there is a bigger vehicle. I've been on it. I've talked to the transcended, both humans and aliens. Trust me, I would have been happy to stay up there. But if I had, I couldn't tell you the good news. I'm not talking about martyrdom. No one's talking about martyrdom. Okay, what I'm talking about might look like martyrdom to the cowards. I'm talking about leaving the flesh behind. It overboard. How can you float up to the pickup vehicle if you're weighed down by a bag? You can't. It's ballast. We have to leave the flesh bag and be our soul. Be only our soul. This is not suicide. Suicide is giving up. This is taking a leap of faith. We have to have faith that the transcendent will practice. There's no punishment, except how you're already being punished. There's no retribution, unless you already feel like you're being retributed. You just won't ascend. <sighs> and sooner or later, but probably sooner, the way things are going, your flesh. Let's go, let's get those cups out to everyone who wants some. This is our test of faith, friends. <sighs> We hate this world. We all hate this world. We hate living in this flesh bag, not knowing our higher purpose. But do we hate it enough? Anyone can say, sure, I hate living in a flesh bag. But then you say to them, well, don't then. And they're scared. They're scared to jump. What if the pickup vehicle is not really at all then? <laughs> what if there is no pickup vehicle? That's why you need to hate, to really hate the flesh bag. You have to be willing to not live in it without any solid confirmation that the pickup vehicle is there. Does this seem strange to you? It shouldn't. Jesus Christ said, or whosoever will save his life shall lose it. Matthew 16. The Hindus seek auction, liberation for the cycle of rebirth. They all ask us to embrace the next world and joyfully give up this world. Because of course, there is a pickup vehicle. I've been on it. I've told That's what they're going to poison everyone with. If I've done this right, they realize the world is a lot bigger than the Garden District. Or something.
You stopped them. How do you know that? Magic? <laughs> we can see it in your face. They weren't very happy with me. You took away their sense of purpose. I couldn't let them do it. What your mother did. Do you worry you have that in you? All the time. To be a mother is to worry. You have worlds within you. Only some are deaf. Here, the recipes you need to replace the blackberry joy. You'll need red owl butterflies. Opsiphanus cassii. They're hard to find, but they're all over the train station. You can use our old butterfly net. Thank you. Oh, perfect. Ollie Starkey lives there. Who knows if he'll remember me. Well then. Blessed be. Blessed be. Blessed be. Off I go to the train station. Then, to catch some butterflies. <laughs>